Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We invite you to follow the English News Bulletin on the Map Province Essential Television Channel. According to Bloomberg, Vietnam's economy grew by 6.93% in the second quarter, driven by recovery in trade and an increase in business activities due to foreign investment. Similarly, business today says that Vietnam's economic growth accelerated in the second quarter thanks to robust exports. Vietnam export in the first half of this year increased by 14.5% compared to the same period last year, reaching 190 billion US dollar. The Purchases Measures Index (PMI) surged to 54.7 in June from 50.3 in May. Looking ahead, credit rating agency Fitch Ratings had assigned Vietnam a long-term foreign currency issuer default rating of PP+ with a stable outlook supported by stable FDI inflows, low government debt levels, and favorable external debt profiles. Yesterday, member of Party Central Committee, Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Nguyen Hong Linh, chaired a working session with Vietnam Aviation Exhibition John Stock Company. At a meeting, the Vietnam Aviation Exhibition John Stock Company introduced and proposed cooperation with dominant leadership in the fields of aviation workforce training, the establishment of sea plane manufacturing center at Trian Lake, and the construction of aircraft maintenance and repair center. Speaking at a meeting, the Secretary of the North Provincial Public Committee said that Domnai is interested in two main issues, training aviation personnel, researching, consulting on, and developing sea plans. The provincial leadership noted that Domnai has many advantages, including an abundant workforce, the presence of Lamtan International Airport, currently under construction, Binghuang Airport, and the airport city. Therefore, Domnai will support and create all favorable conditions to supply local workforce resources for the aviation industry. Yesterday, the Binghua City Police honored a ceremony to issue ID cards to 11 citizens under the 2023 ID card law. After one week of implementing the new ID card law, these are the first citizens in the Nam province to be issued ID cards and ID certificates by the Ministry of Public Security. Accordingly, the Binghua City Police, along with the city leaders, presented certificates, ID cards, and flowers to congratulate the representatives of a group of citizens aged 0 to 6 years and 6 to 14 years on July 1, 2024. Citizens within these age groups and their guardians, including parents, completed the procedures for issuing ID cards under the 2023 ID card law. Identification numbers were provided by the ward, police, and biometric data was collected at the Binghua City Administrative Center. Tomorrow, U.S. President Joe Biden plans to welcome the newly elected British Prime Minister Kerr Starmer at the 75th and the first race separation of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, and hold a meeting in Washington. Announcing the meeting, White House Press Secretary Karin Jean-Pierre said, President Biden looks forward to his first meeting with Prime Minister Starmer and will emphasize the importance of continuing to strengthen the special relationship between the U.S. and the United Kingdom. She added that the two leaders will have the opportunity for extensive discussion on the U.S.-U.K. cooperation on a range of issues, including support for Ukraine, promoting a free and open Indo-Pacific, achieving the Gaza CFRA hostage release, ensuring Iran cannot acquire nuclear weapons, and strengthening alliance against healthy forces. Yesterday, U.S. President Joe Biden sent a letter to Democrat members of Congress, affirming that he would not withdraw from the presidential election and urging lawmakers to unite and support his candidacy. This move comes after at least nine Democrat members of Congress called for President Biden to withdraw from the race for the White House, following a failed debate against former President Donald Trump. In the letter, President Biden formally committed to continuing his campaign to the very end and called for an end to the internal party speculation about his future and capabilities. 
regarding concerns about President Biden's health. White House Press Secretary Karen Jean Pierre said, People ask whether the president is being treated for Parkinson's disease. The answer is no, the president remains healthy and clear minded. You just watched the English news on a central television channel of the province. Goodbye and see you again.